Hello, this is Clayton with Aeromotive Research and Development Group talking to you today about our Gladiator 1000 Extreme Duty Grease with our commercial a technical overview presentation. Gladiator 1000 is the aerospace advantage in comparison with common respected grease commercial products. Presentation goal is to update your current grease program with Gladiator 1000's aerospace advantage. The Gladiator 1000 Aerospace Advantage is a, a process which is created by the Spartamax engineering team through years of experience in commercial, military, and high performance racing. It utilizes 21st century uh, aerospace technology to reduce rolling and friction resistance in your bearings, U joints, axles, suspension parts, and joints. The design includes PAO synthetics, calcium sulfonate complex, thickener, tachifier, and diamond-like additives. Teams for many years have relied upon Gladiator 1000 for its reliability and performance repeatability. Now your common lithium complex formulation designs will have, be an NGL9 number 2, which is common, uh, there will be a lithium complex, it's called a soap grease, and it goes away with time and water. It's not designed for long-term dur durability. And many of these might have a synthetic base fluid, but the problem is is when the grease returns back and forth, it's called grease uh, reversibility, that the oils tend to leak out. And as I said, it will break down with water. And most common grease products might use Molly or Teflon, but the key here is that with the lithium, the thickener breaks down. So we'll address some of these later on. Now the Gladiator 1000 will extend hub life, bearing life, spindles, CV axles, and life cycle service. All right. Now the reason for this is the calcium sulfonate complex base thickener, the polyolefin PAO aerospace synthetic lube here is ISO 220, the diamond-like additives which embed into the carbonate steel to reduce rolling resistance, metal surface protection. An extreme pressure cap capability per square inch up to 1,000 kilograms or 2,000 pounds. It will provide durability and operation equal to OEM warranties. It's a non-hazardous product, biodegradable, and uh, it is the OEM technical directive and premium choice for the 21st century. The specific design of the grease as shared is with the PAO synthetics, the sticky grease, with this uh, calcium sulfonate complex, PAOs, all right, it's great durability with seal protection. It has protection during initial startups, high shock loading. It is not a barium grease because bariums uh, are considered a hazardous product. And always consult the bearing manufacturer for the recommended fill amount of the weight. Try to go back to Timken or SKF or whoever you're getting your grease, uh, excuse me, your bearing from to get the exact grease amount don't over and under. Always do it pr with precision. Now we talked about the diamond-like additives. Here's a friction test that showed over a, a short period of time at, uh, with heat and friction that we were able to lower the coefficient of friction of this down to uh, 0.14. I must say, Clayton, how does that go against your molly greases? Well, the molly greases are like 0.5. So this is about three times less the friction, dur uh, improved friction durability as compared to using Molly or Teflon, etc. Now we have ro reduced rolling resistance, which provides energy efficiency and increased miles per gallon. I've got, here, here we have an example of the diamond-like additive with the PAO. Here you have a graph on top that shows with the taper bearings where it's going to be working in, all right. And so, what that this means in the racing industry is that it will ha re reduce the friction so you have better roll off the center of the corner uh, by reducing rolling resistance and improving the energy efficiency. Why? Because it will require less torque and energy to do the same job. The DLA will embed into the metal surfaces which reduces the fluid and the metal friction between the contact areas and with shock load durability and of course Long life calcium sulfonate complex grease uh, ties it all together. Now, in his example about how diamond like additives work in their specific applications, here we have with the diamond like additives in a motor oil. 
All right, now this here was a situation where it was Molly versus DLA on a lifter going 9,000 RPMs. And this is the same type of situation that you will experience with a bearing race and uh, tapered bearing uh, in, in the grease application. Very same additive, very same qualified results by protecting the metal surface right at the point of the carbonate steel. The other issue we run into is the static. When you've got two similar or dissimilar metals that are working together and uh, they will create an electrical charge because you've got all these ions and protons and all this stuff going together. What the grease is going to have the capability to do is reduce that. I said, what does that mean? Well, have you ever seen where you got these little pits and these little chunks that are out of the metal? That's because here we've got an, uh, ex uh, excuse me, a very large photograph of the pores of the metal, the fissures and the cracks and everything. So what the DLA is able to do is get into that metal surface so that and protect it so that when the static charge tries to go, it is reduced and uh, maintains the durability of the metal surface on a continued basis. Here's the typical data that we have here as you can uh, go through a little bit. PAO uh, synthetic lube. We've got the weight of the NGLI2 uh, calcium sulfonate complex. All right, the wear scar data, four ball wear scar up to 2,000 pounds. Uh, you can check this out as you need to. In the end, we wanted to thank you for your time that we've had here. Uh, with the, the initial information, but now we're going to show with you how it works in a burr transmission on the ball splines. The Gladiator 1000 is the upgrade to the current Burr Blue Magic product, which was done a few years ago with the Burt organization. Uh, it's the same calcium sulfonate complex, but we decided to have one singular brand name. Now in the Burt transmission, and I believe also maybe the Bren, you have the ball spline performance test. Now what it is, you got these large balls that are put in there, and uh, so when the spline rolls back and forth, it has some efficiency. Now in this evaluation, we have transmission A and transmission B, both of them at between 35 to 40 competition races. Transmission A had the uh, Synmax Later 1000, former Burr Blue Magic product, and the other one was a national brand lithium complex synthetic grease. As you can see, the advantage with transmission A is that the grease that was used was sticky, tacky, it was able to roll on the bearings as the spline moved back and forth. I said, well, that's a big deal. Well, yes, but you have to understand something. These bearings initially were only designed to be working at like maybe 2,000 RPMs. In the high-end professional situations, uh, these bearings are going to be going almost four times the capability to eight and 9,000 RPMs. But the grease was able to work with the situation and keep the bearings healthy and alive. Now, on the observation, on the left, you're going to have the uh, Synmax grease. You can see that the bearings are almost like new. On the right is its synthetic lithium counterpart. You can see dark, it started getting heating up, and, and bits and pieces of the metal started coming off the, the bearing surface. Here's the comparison of a new in the center, Synmax on the left, Glider 1000, and the lithium grease on the right. You can be able to see that the brand new bearings are sharp. The Synmax ones, uh, Glider 1000 grease, a little bit of wear, but the ones on the right, they had to be replaced. Now, uh, a closer look, center is brand new, on the left is the Gladiator 1000, and on the right is the synthetic lithium product. A little closer, on the top that you're going to have the brand new bearings, on the bottom is the lithium with the synthetic grease. Again, you can see the dark, the burn, the, the chunks of metal that have come out of it. Here is the Synmax Gladiator product, on the top is brand new, on the bottom the ball bearings can be reused. Here's the summary and test conclusion. As the spline and bearing areas moved back and forth, the Synmax uh, Glader 1000 grease kept the bearings cool, lubricated, and protected. Bearing surfaces did not experience metal fatigue or fretting, in other words, small pieces of surface breaking off, creating pits due to heat, friction, and torque, as compared to the other products used. Bearing surface and the Rockwell hardness inspections indicated that the bearing specifications were within 90% of original factory tolerances, acceptable and safe for reuse.
Now, we just want to state that the testing against the um, lithium product was not against any brand. It's one that was used and commonly used in the industry. The Synmax Gladiator 1000 grease reduced whirling resistance and creates energy efficiency along with protecting the components. This is based upon the reduced friction with the diamond-like additives and the uh, synthetic uh, fluids, the calcium sulfonate complex, the tack of fire to be able to stay with the bearings and roll. So it improves the operation of the ball spline of the balls and all the components within the bearing, especially the shock load durability. Here's the conclusion with the Burt Transmission Ball Spline Test with the uh, Synmax Gladiator 1000 Grease versus the competition. Again, this is endorsed and approved by Burt from Burt Transmissions for the bearing and ball spline application. As shown, this also uh, is for your other hub bearings and bearings in general. We want to thank you for the time that you've spent with us in our presentation for the Gladiator 1000 Extreme Duty Grease. If you have any technical questions, please feel free to contact us at uh, office at aeromotiveresearch.com uh, to purchase this product, get a hold of Performance Parts Supply and its value dealers across the United States, North America, and the world. Thank you, and good day.